Crafters. I wanted to come in here real quick and uh, show you what I have left from uh, my craft kit. I have the ephemera and I also said that I had um, these branding strips left and I actually taped them down and put them onto a piece of cardstock and I'm going to use these individually uh, for some cards. So what I'm going to be doing is I want to work on some different cards and show you what I came up with with my leftovers. So this is the leftovers papers. These are the biggest pieces <coughs> of leftover papers. And then I've got uh, some smaller ones and small pieces in here. So I'm not going to do like uh, the Christy Marcotte and <laughs> see how many I can get out of what's left. But um, I'm going to shoot for 10. I'm going to try to make 10 different cards. And um, we'll see how well I do with that if I can get that done or not. And then I'll come back to show you what I've got uh, for my different cards and we'll see what it, we'll see what happens with it. So um, I'm not gonna craft them on, on, uh, on film because I am not a seasoned card maker. I like making cards, but I don't do it well. So, or I mean, I shouldn't say I don't do it well, I just, I'm not very fast about it, so I don't want you to painstakingly have to go through every decision I make. So, um, so I'll see you back in a little while. I'm sure it'll be quicker for you than me, but I will be back uh, to show you my cards that I've made. And um, one final thing is I also am going to be using this uh, stamp set that I got from Tamara in my design team kit. So we'll see what um, comes of that. I'm um, not sure what I'm going to do with that yet, but I think there's some really pretty images with that. So I'll see you back in a little while. Hey crafters, I am back with my cards. So um, just wanted to show you real quick what I used or what I made with my leftovers. I utilized my Blue Fern Studios stamp set that uh, Tammy gave me. And actually, this is a really neat stamp set. It'll really kind of uh, give you um, more of a distressed look, or you can use it for backgrounds, you know, use it as just uh, a regular stamp or kind of a postage type item on there. I use that as well as um, I use this uh, Joy and Happiness uh, sentiment stamp set uh, by Penny Black. This was in my stash that I got, I think I got it last year. And the other thing that I used was this uh, die uh, from Gina Marie Designs. It's a quilt number eight die. Not sure if it's still available, but I'll show you what I did with that. So not going to be a too long of a video. I'm just going to talk a little bit about what I did with my leftovers. Um, just use some uh, ribbon here. Used one of my circle punches that I had to cut down. You can kind of see by my mistake on there. This is just some of the paper that I used as background. Very, very simple. And then used one of the um, tags and things, uh, ephemera pieces for the inside of that card. And then this one, um, I did a couple different things. I used the um, one of my pieces of paper. I backed it with uh, the Artisan Black cardstock. Put a um, couple strips of the Artisan Red here and then some of the um, a small strip that I had left of the paper and then here I um, used the Blue Fern Studio stamp. That's the bigger stamp of the set. I wanted to just kind of fill that in a little bit. I think it turned out pretty good and of course one of the ephemera pieces and this is the inside of the card. So um, something just pretty simple, not nothing too much, but I like to do something on the inside of my cards. And then on this one, again, pretty simple. I used the paper, used some gems. I took this piece of ephemera and just uh, popped up the middle here. And on the inside, um, stamped a sentiment and did a couple banner flags with some of the paper that was left. 
This one is um, one of the cards that I used from, these are those strips, the branding strips, and I had put those on a piece of uh, white cardstock and <clears throat> then um, just cut the pieces as I needed them for my card. So wrapped some twine in there, some gems in from my stash, a piece of the ephemera, and inside um, just a simple sentiment. And yes, some of mine are crooked. I'm not the best stamper in the world, and for the life of me, I can't find my mini Misty. Don't know what I did with it. I think I put it with a project, but don't know where it is, so it is a little bit off, but that's the as I say, that's the joy of a handmade card. <laughs> um, then this one is, um, again, very simple. This is popped up here. This is a piece of the strip from those branding strips, a uh, ribbon in my stash. And then I die cut um, two snowflakes um, with my, it's a Tim Holtz. I forgot to pull that out, sorry. It's just the Tim Holtz Sizzix Paper Snowflakes die. I use that on some um, sparkly uh, paper and one of the ephemera pieces, some of the gems from my stash. And then I just open this one. I like this one. Just like the snowflake, you are one of a kind. And then I just use some of my smaller strips just to give it some color on the inside. But yet there's still room in there for um, to put a note or something in there. And um, then I did a couple other cards. And this one, uh, what I took was, again, this is a strip of the branding strips. So you see what I did is I, I cut it up and used different pieces in different spots. Uh, ephemera piece, this is one of the stamps from the Blue Fern stamp, gems from my stash. And then I just put some uh, more uh, ribbon in here from my stash and uh, the stamp. I don't know, I think this one turned out pretty good. This looked pretty bare up here, and that's why I put the stamp, and I thought, boy, it turned out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. And then um, I finished this one. I still want to add a little bit of a doodad on here, but this is, again, this branding strips. I use that as a strip there. Ephemera tags, I uh, paper punched out a couple um, snowflakes, and just stamped it on the inside, didn't do anything too much to it. And this one I wanted to try. I'm not sure whether I like it or not. Some things I do, some things I don't. Um, but I wanted to try um, really distressing this. And so I used uh, my, uh, of course, my artisan cardstock and, um, you know, made that more distressed looking. I uh, put some of the uh, ribbon from my stash around. Again, these are the border strips. These are the Tim Holtz dies. These are, not dies, but they're the ephemera letters that you can, I don't know what they're called exactly, but you get a whole big bag like this. And I thought, well, I should really be using these. I think I've had them for at least a year, if not two. And so then I tried to do the same thing on the inside with the sentiment, and I don't think it turned out very successful. Um, but I'll show you that in a second. And then these are just some items from my stash. Um, oh, where did I, I was going to say, where did I get these from? These are from, um, oh, where we get our other, uh, beads and things from that Tamara works with. Um, oh, I can't think of it. Sorry. If I think of it, I'll put it in the box below. Um, and then in the inside, again, like I said, I tried to use these, um, the, the letters to Merry Christmas, and um, I don't think it was very successful, but, ah, well, it's a card. <laughs> so we'll just see how that goes. And then the final two cards that I made um, were these ones that were a little bit more uh, sparkly. Again, I used some of my glitter paper. <coughs> To cut out that die and what I did was is that I also cut that out in the blue one of my blue scraps and I inlaid all the pieces in here put a couple gems on these are just more strips that I cut that I put on the card and then I put one of the piece of ephemera and um, a sentiment in there 
And then with the leftover pieces, what I did is, this one's a little bit bigger because I really wanted to get this strip all the way around. And um, what I did was, is I used the glitter paper uh, frame and inlaid the paper pieces into the uh, frame and then added some, uh, you know, some rhinestones and things on there. So it's a little bit sparkly, but I think it's really pretty and clean. And then I just uh, put a sentiment in here and another snowflake with a bead. And... Um, yeah, so actually that's all my cards that I ended up, that's 10 cards I made from scraps. And you know what I had left before? Well, look how much I still have left. Um, not sure I'm gonna really use it. I think I might hand it off to my nieces or my granddaughter to kind of glue and tape. I have um, these pieces of ephemera left. Um, so, that's about all that I really have left from that collection, other than maybe a few pieces of um, seam binding, but pretty much that's it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this whole series of um, using up the paper as well as the Blue Fern Studios um, paper line. Uh, remember to visit Country Craft Creations. You can get artisan cardstock there, your art glitter glue, the stamps, and uh, the Blue Fern collections, um, plus anything else that you um, really need uh, for making your um, mini albums or cards. And again, I have to say that as far as making cards, um, I think they're fine, but for the most part, I have to tell you, I think I'd rather make boxes or mini albums because I feel like you put as much work into a card sometimes trying to think about doing something different than um, than what you do with an with a album but, or a box that you're creating. So I will continue to make some cards here or there so that I expand my skills because I'm very new at card making. I watched a lot of videos, but I'm really new at it. And um, I will see you back here, probably not for another uh, week or two, because um, I am going back up north and I won't be recording anything for the next week to two weeks. So I will um, see you soon. Thanks so much for um, staying with me and subscribing to my channel. I really, really appreciate it. And once again, visit uh, www.countrycraftcreations.com and um, enjoy your day. Thank you.